Welcome back. This is the third to last stage in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, or second to last stage if you do not have Hypersonic at this point. Um, if you have kept Supersonic this whole time, congratulations! Um, if you have not kept Supersonic this whole time, there are only two stages left. A Sky Sanctuary Zone. Floating Ruins. Unfortunately, we see the Egg Fortress is now back on its feet. It's now taking off. Apparently, stealing the Master Emerald did what Robotnik wanted it to do and powered the Death Egg. Now, if we go over here... And this is as far as Knuckles can go. He is too beaten up. There's nothing more he can do. And so, that is an indication of the... The Egg Soldiers, I don't remember what they're called, but those are the... Those are our enemies now, basically. Every time they appear, you will actually see it. Um, they will appear on the screen. Now, this area has a lot of secrets. I don't know if there are any power uh, rings here. Like, you know the power rings I'm talking about. Um, so I don't know that if you've missed it, up until now, if you can get more of them. I also don't know if there are any egg or ring chambers in the actual death egg. Or the death, the egg star. I also don't know if that laser that they shoot um, it can be blocked by any shield. Now here we have a really cool throwback and we actually see the boss. We have to go, we have to fight Sonic the Hedgehog 1's first boss. More importantly, pay attention to who's piloting that. Oh shit. Oh, thank god. Okay. Because there's actually a second boss that we have to fight mini boss fight coming up that is quite difficult and I don't have confidence to do it without having hypersonic so okay and we have hypersonic unless things go horribly awry oh, gosh, damn it. okay no that was a ring black sphere I'll take it any shield is better than no shield <coughs> Fire shield, I will take. Because we have the one of the bosses, I don't remember if it's the first one or not, or the last boss, of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, now, this one, actually, what happens is there are, every time you hit Robotnik, more clones appear. And you just have to hit him, make him disappear once all his clones are gone. I don't know of any way to hit him without getting hit at least once. Um, I pulled it off, but then I got hit immediately, so I, I don't know if there actually is a way to avoid that. Really? Well, now, you, this is why I absolutely hate, um, this random luck generator, because it's, yeah, you might get stuff, but, like, again, you run the risk of just losing every ring you have. And it's not necessarily a small chance either. More importantly, though, the odds of you actually getting something worthwhile out of this are small. Like, just because the amount of rings that you get. If you get a jackpot, I think it's 100 rings, but look at this! Like, the odds of getting three Robotniks is actually fairly high. Um, especially for it to happen twice and almost in a row. 
But then you can also see, like, I've gotten 30 rings out of this, and yet I've lost. It's just like real gambling, like, you don't really earn shit. And already, the one of the barriers that it spits you out on is has three red spheres, so I might leave with nothing. Okay, it didn't make me leave with nothing, which is good, but... Oh, come on. Come on, you took everything I had. Let me do... Give me my 50 rings back, you assholes. Yeah, and so it just... And then you only have a set amount of times, which is also random luck. Um, I don't even have a shield. Gosh damn it. Huh? Oh, did I go backwards? Guess I did. Now I'm super pure. <sighs> and that was why I am super paranoid. Fucking damn it. The main reason I love this stage is not because of its stage layout, I'll tell you that. Like, my favorite, favorite reason why I love this stage is because it's fun. Or it's, um, I love the music. It's not fun. So we come over here, a bunch of animals, and then a robot soldier, an egg guard comes out. An egg trooper. This again, seriously? Okay, I'm going to show something you can do. It's it's not exactly Oh fucking hell. Yeah, those reverse squares will just fuck you. Like, literally, they will just fuck you. Like, it is the worst thing possible. Okay, cut no, cut. There we go. Um, if you time it just so. Um, you can actually get to the point where you can go in. There we go. Thank you. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to be done. I'm not going to get the rings and it's not worth fighting it. Um, so, one of the things that can happen is it will... <clears throat> yeah, no, it's just fucking annoying. <sighs> Thankfully, I can beat this boss. This, so the boss is Mecha Sonic. Mecha Sonic is actually not Metal Sonic. Um, this is actually the final boss fight of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, I believe. Um, he has several of the same abilities, but his abilities have been changed slightly. Just pay attention to what he's doing and you can hit him. Just take advantage of Sonic's speed, pay attention, and you should be good. Or, this is the second. This is the first boss battle in Sonic. The boss battle in Sonic 1 has a couple of things, like... Fighting Silver Sonic, or Metal Sonic, is actually just the first variant. Mecha Sonic, though, quite interesting character. Um, Mecha Sonic actually is mirrored off of Sonic, and has been built according to... Well, basically, Archie Comics took this idea of Mecha Sonic and roboticized him. Um, there's a couple of other things where Mecha Sonic becomes like, it absorbs robots, becomes stronger. It was a weird spin-off, I think, off of Sonic X. Um, but it was Metal Robotnik, basically. So, the ruined island islands that we were on are collapsing, and Sonic is running as quickly as he can up the tower to board the Death Egg, which is our final zone. The Death Egg Zone, Act 1. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you when we tackle this... Actually, this the, the finale will be the next episode. So I will see you guys next episode for the grand finale.